With threats on the rise, schools are constantly finding ways to protect the people inside them. We enter the checkpoint at Lebanon Trail High School to see what changes they've made. We are starting to require all students to have their badges visible uh, around their neck at all times. Uh, that way it's easier to identify students and see who does go here and who, who belongs at this school. I also don't think it's that necessary because I didn't have them in middle school and everything went just fine. So there are pros and cons to it. We have a lot of you know workers that come in and out to, to work on various like maintenance, things like that. Um, we have a lot of teachers, staff members, we have a lot of subs in the building. We have 2,000 students, so it's really just for a way for us to make sure that everyone who is in our building is supposed to be there. With newer technology, including facial recognition and more, campus administration felt the photo badge was the best alternative to ID students. That would be wonderful technology to have, but it is really something that it's, it's the fastest way to be able to determine who's supposed to, to be on campus and who's not. Facial recognition is an option. I don't know the costs of that and whether or not that's something um, FISD or even the administration is willing to do. But again, the cameras can only do so much and you know the, the IDs certainly do help in day to day uh, going through the hallways. Some students feel the punishment for not wearing an ID badge does not fit the crime. I don't think giving people lunch detention is the right way to educate people on why people should wear their badges. I think there's another way to teach students that having their badges are important. Well, I think it's fair up until they make you start paying for it. So I just think it's a little ridiculous to like pay for a green sticker just so that you go to the school. So our school discipline procedure is followed as far as ID badges. It's kind of similar to Tardy's where after I think it's the first um, three incidents where they don't have an ID badge, it's just a warning. And then after that, they start to accumulate like a lunch detention and then it could turn into a Thursday night reflection or then a Saturday school. So we follow our school policy. As the campus gets used to the new ID badge policy, some students have already grown accustomed to wearing it. I like it. I think it just makes the school feel um, more safe and secure. I mean, like I'll wear it. I just don't really like think that ID badges necessarily help anything other than like knowing that you're a part of the school, but it's just, they're a little crazy about enforcing them. Most people don't like it, but I think it's fine. It's not too bothersome. I just don't think we should be giving lunch detentions to people who don't have them. Going to be a change in culture because a lot of students aren't used to wearing um, a badge around their, around their neck or, or display a badge uh, when going about their day. So it may be difficult and slow going at first, but hopefully the students realize that it is in their best interest um, for everyone's safety. Whether you wear yours or not, the ID badge is hanging on to Lebanon Trail. I'm Jake Steele for Vanguard TV.